Twab Day, which means it's time to bring you the world's first Twab video here on YouTube, going through all the news from 420 2023 from Bungie. Here we go. First up, they have a quick recap of everything that we've covered in previous articles, especially in regards to the accessibility article and other stuff. Make sure you check those out if you haven't yet. And we have some updates to Crucible and everything with the mid-season patch, plus a bunch of different notes of things that were not covered. Primaries have been buffed significantly, which means if you haven't been using sidearms, sidearms are very nasty right now. I was just rocking Trespasser and some strikes, and that thing is disgustingly good. Here's all a list of the accessibility changes that were made. We have radical changes, full auto melee, toggle setting additions, subtitle, subtitle color choice, a peek at what's new with commendations, if you have any variation of color blindness. Then we have the Arbalest ornament, which is finally coming into the game with Season 21. This was a community-voted submission, and so an artist got to create this, an external artist outside of the bunch got to create this, and this has come into the game, which is exciting. I think it looks pretty good. And now we get a chance to vote for the next weapon. So comment down below which exotic you will be voting for when you get that email. We've got the Wither Horde, which has some pretty decent ornaments. We've got the Thunderlord, and we've got the Izanagi's Burden. Personally, I think the Wither Horde's probably going to win just because of popularity. I mean, this is largely a popularity contest, right? And I think Wither Horde's probably the most popular of these three. However, I wouldn't mind seeing Izanagi's Burden win. Thunderlord, though, maybe it could use the ornament more than the other two, but we don't really use it as much. So I don't think Thunderlord will win, but only time will tell. Make sure you vote with the email when you get it. Then next up, we have, uh, here's a quick look at the full process. Starting April 20th, you'll get the community votes. Yep, and just like that, you'll get to pick your favorite concept. And this isn't coming out until the final shape, this ornament, so keep that in mind. So it'll probably be final shape themed, just as this one was Lightfall themed. So it should be pretty epic with like a black and white uh, aesthetic. I'm looking forward to that. Then we have some issues with weapon crafting with the raid weapons. Apparently, if you uh, until this uh, is able to be release a fix, we have players should avoid increasing a weapons enhancement tier while actively modifying that weapon at the relic on Mars. So keep that in mind. Uh, 3D audio is bugged in the game, <clears throat> and then we have a list of resolved issues, which one of them is a sad one. They fixed the issue where the terminal overload chest could be looted multiple times, which is very sad. You could get on your sparrow and go and reload the checkpoint and progress your crafted weapons, so they removed that, taking all the fun out of Neomuna, unfortunately. Along with a bunch of other stuff that they already covered and I covered in a previous video, so keep that in mind, including falling damage is now non-lethal to players. Then we have a list of known issues, one of them being Volatile Flow does not activate consistently, so keep that in mind. I've been seeing a bunch of people mention that, which is pretty crazy. They also have some players report that Radiant no longer stuns barrier champions, fire sprites may no longer be generated from grenade kills. Definitely some issues out there going on inside Destiny 2. And that's a wrap on this TWAV video. Pretty short one for this week. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. Smash the like button. See you in the next one. Later.